All right, we've been working with the uh, wiring and the wiring harness for a little bit of time now. So now it's time to actually get it on the car itself and on the engine. So I'm going to let John here take over on that segment. So the wiring harness, this is the, uh, the big pain in the butt of this system. Um, a lot of time went into it uh, and hopefully it all works out right. Uh, so what we got is all the fuel injectors, uh, ignition coil set up. Um, the fuse block has been re rewired uh, for the uh, factory fuse block uh, as well as the, uh, the main connector that goes into for the instrument panel cluster, the oil pressure system, uh, all that that was using uh, all factory uh, so I don't have to, to buy a standalone system, it's all designed to go right into the factory harnesses. So we got the transmission. Uh, park neutral safety switch um, that was original for the uh, 2004 S10. Uh, we got rid of the other style, the two uh, connector, uh, and went to the single connector. And obviously, and all your internal uh, transmission for your solenoid controls, all that is wired, ready to go. Uh, that's actually going to go in through the back of the motor, uh, back to its original location. Uh, so when we put the transmission in, those lines are already down there uh, and we don't have to fight going around over top of the transmission. We got miscellaneous grounds. Um, one thing I will say is you can never have enough grounds. Uh, so if you got extra grounds, it's a good thing. Uh, but these are going to go back for the camshaft position sensor, the oil pressure sensor, and the knock sensor. And all the grounds are going to go back and follow the transmission lines. Uh, to the back of the block. Uh, we got these marked. Um, this is for the uh, injectors and the coil packs. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do uh, both sides. Uh, so you got your injectors and your coil packs. Alright, so we got the idle air control valve and the throttle position sensor uh, as well as the AC which we're going to kind of route them so they're a little bit neater. That's why we left them open. Uh, in case I need to shorten them up a little bit. Next we got the starter solenoid wire, uh, the crankshaft position sensor, and the final uh, AC connector on the accumulator. Next we got the two uh, front O2 sensors. Uh, they're going to get routed. They're extra long because they're for a Silverado. Uh, so we're just going to kind of zip tie them up uh, and get them out of the way. Uh, so those will get routed down um, behind the engine uh, away from the exhaust so you don't melt the plastic or melt any wires uh, and then uh, finally we will do the fuse block and PCM Interesting sound. You put oil in it? 